bladderwort, Utricularia foliosa. Like all bladderworts, this one is rootless. Therefore, it is free-floating. As the plant lives, one end of it grows, while the other end dies and rots. This large bladderwort may grow to be several feet long. It is found in slow-moving waters throughout the state. It flowers all year long. Utricularia foliosa is often found only a couple of inches below the water surface. However, it does grow as deep as four feet. This species can be distinguished from other bladderworts in several ways. Its main stem is thick and flattened, rather strap-like and whitish. The main stem occasionally grows branch stems, which are somewhat less stout than the main one. Along the stems grow exceedingly complex leaves, with segments up to the fifth order of complexity. The leaf has an upper lobe and a lower lobe. The lower leaf lobe is pale green and full of bladders. The upper lobe is bright green with few bladders. Out of the water, it collapses into a slimy mass. Another feature of this species of bladderwort is its air chutes. These thread-like branches grow to the water surface and can be several inches long. The bright yellow flowers of this species of bladderwort are easy to spot. They are in long stalks that emerge several inches above the water. The stalks are attached to the thick stems. Up to 20 flowers may be present on each stalk of this species. Note the distinct rounded lips of the bladderwort flower. This most unusual Florida native may be found floating several inches to several feet below the water surface. It has large, extremely segmented leaves that look three-dimensional and bushy. The whitish stems of Utricularia foliosa are thick and obviously flattened or strap-like. The bright yellow flowers on tall stalks are typical of bladderworts and make it easy to find. Thank you.